right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moss Bus Show. And in today's episode, I, I am watching wrestling right now, so if I do get a little distracted, um, yeah, but right now they're currently showing a wrestler I, I really don't, you know, uh, care for. I ain't gonna name drop no wrestlers, but um, yeah, I, they're just showing a wrestler right now where I'm all like, it, it's just... It's not entertaining, but anyways, um, yeah, plus I also need to, like, I don't know why I'm doing a podcast episode right now. I need to work on a gaming video, because I don't have a gaming video to upload. So, uh, this episode might, it may come off as a rushed episode, but I don't know. Let's, let's overall see. Like, I feel like I got time to do a gaming video for, or, you know, afterwards, or after I finish this for however long I record it and stuff, but... Anyways, uh, what I wanted to talk on was overall like being happy, you know, like and and because so here's the thing. I grew up around a lot of people from like friends to just pretty much, you know, there's quite a few people, quite a few people where it's like their anger just makes you like not feel good like when somebody gets around me and then they're just angry for no reason. I'm like, why? Like, like, why? What, why, why are you so angry? What, what frustrates you that bad to where you gotta display that anger towards like everybody else and things? And my thing is this, and I know people are gonna probably ask me like, have you never felt anger before? I feel anger all the time. That's human nature. You're gonna feel anger, but when I get around other people, I can't display that anger. You know, like, I can't, like, I, my thing is, like, if I'm dealing with something, if I'm going through something, I keep that to myself. Or if I do need to talk to somebody, I will talk to somebody. Or I would just overall, like, make some sort of motivational post to make me happy or do a podcast episode talking about it. But if I'm dealing with something, if there's some things, like, on my conscience and things, like... I keep that to myself. I can't be that person where I'm like, if I'm mad about something, everybody got to feel my anger. Everybody got to feel my wrath. And I'm like, no, that's just, it ain't even, because it's like, what what is that? What is that doing? You know, what is that doing for you? What is that doing for other people? Like, at the end of the day, people ain't going to want to be bothered with you. If you're going to truthfully be honest... I do not um, associate myself with people that are just angry 24-7. I'm like, when people act like that, I'm like, nah, uh uh-uh, nope. I'm like, I just, I keep to myself. I let them do their thing. There was a girl I went to school with that was like that. And she, the only reason why I had to say we were cool, because she was a wrestling fan. That was the only reason why um, I would talk with her. But other than that, I, bro, I would have stayed far away from that girl. But the, yeah, the only reason why I um, was cool with her because she was a um, she was a wrestling fan. It's kind of hard, you know, finding wrestling fans. Everybody's under them impression where it's like, oh, wrestling's fake. Why you like wrestling? This that. And there'd be like like old men that's like wrestling fans and stuff. I'm currently watching wrestling right now, and I can see I could probably point out twenty people that look older than me. All right, so but anyways, but yeah, it's like I I just don't I don't get that. I don't get that at all, and I'm like, man, you know, like, even if I am, like, if I'll post online, like, man, I'm so mad right now, like, even if if people, if they, you know, reach out to me, I'll talk to them, but at the end of the day, I'm like, okay, you know what, I, I'm, I'm telling them why I'm mad, but I'm not gonna be like, don't talk to me right now, don't, I'm like, nah, like, you know, just giving them attitude, and they didn't even do nothing, like, you know, to me, and stuff, so that's, I'm like, nah, like, I can't, I can't be that person, and here's the thing, like, to overall talk about, like, my anger, If I'm going to be mad about something, it's going to be, like, I'm going to be mad about, like, something petty. Like, not something, like, I'm going to be, like, dancing. Like, you know, if I'm, like, doing a video and I'm mad at freaking Ubisoft because of their games being crap, which they are. But if I'm mad about that, like, that to me, that's considered petty stuff. That's, you know, to me, that's just all for, you know, YouTube and entertainment purposes. I'm not actually, like full-blown upset, you know, even like, and I just, yeah, I just do that for, like, you know, entertainment purposes. Is it, um, like, a true authentic feeling? Like, do I honestly, you know, get mad during games? Yes, I, bro, the amount, I honestly, like, with all of the videos that I've recorded since the last, like, Rage compilation I've done, I've, bro, there's so many new things that I can add to that compilation just based off of, like, the, you know, different games I've played, different things that, you know, so at the end of the day, I'm like, I, you know, I play these games, like, I'm currently getting distracted right now, I should have just, you know, waited until afterwards, but anyways, um, 
But yeah, I'm like, I'll go and uh, like play games and get mad. Like, and it's it's a true authentic feeling. Like at the time being, but afterwards, like when I turn the cameras off, when I unplug my microphone, I'm I'm bro, I'm happy. My thing is like, I got content out of the way. So at the end of the day, I can't even be mad at you know whatever. It's like yeah, there's been times I've I've played video games where I'm like they've left me like truly angry bruh like truly like i am upset i don't want to you know do nothing today like i just want to just lay down and rest but and the game that did that was uh nba 2k that on honestly nba 2k i'd rather play every ubisoft game today that's either coming out or already out to then to play any the or the best nba 2k game of all time because to me all of those games are the same. They're all crap. They're all trash. There's no reasons to play those games. So at the end of the day, like, yeah, when I'm um, playing NBA 2K, I have to say, like, that to me ain't really, like, it's not that I'm, like, acting out my videos. It's just more so, like, okay, you know what? I can't, you know, be the person I am, like, off camera. Because off camera, when I'm, like, mad about a video game, I'm just, like, Oh, yeah, the game's trash, like, you know, I don't like it. But for video's sake, I'm like, I gotta give it some sort of energy. So I think that's more so what it is. I just, you know, for uh, content creating reasons, yes, I would give, you know, some, like, energy and anger and, you know, combine them for the video's purpose. But outside of that, I'm like, bro, I'm like, I ain't gonna, if I wasn't a YouTuber... Honestly, at the end of the day, I probably wouldn't even be, uh, like, I wouldn't even be playing Ubisoft games. Like, if I, if there are times where I'll download, like, The Division 2 or, or NBA 2K or whatever, you know, I'm only doing that for entertainment purposes. But at the end, it, even then, I'm like, I try to avoid where I do get to a point where I am, like, truly angry and truly upset. Like, I don't put myself in a situation like that. I know a lot of content creators, um, do that. And there's no problem with that. And that's because, you know, that's that's what they do. Like, that's what people like and stuff. That's what I hope that they like. But me, on the other hand, I'm like, no. I don't even like being angry. I don't like being upset, mad, any of that stuff. Like, if, like I said, for entertainment purposes, okay. But, like, outside of it, nah. Like, I, I try to have, like, a cool personality with everybody. I try being happy for the most part. So, yeah, that's why I'm like, I can't... Uh, I can't overall, you know, be angry, even if, yeah, like, and like I said, it's like, even when I'm dealing with people and I'm going through some stuff, I'm like, I'm not going to be all in this person's face mad about, like, you know, my personal life, but it's like, somehow it involves them, they didn't even, they're not even a part of it, so, you know, it's like, it's stuff like that, where I'm like, man, you know, I, and the thing is, that's the, probably the one thing that, like, you know, it, it it leaves me a little irritated, and that's why I just don't associate myself with people. But it's like when you try to, like, tell them to, you know, be happier, but they still want to be angry. They're like, no, I want to be mad because that's when I'm... It's stuff like that where I'm like, okay, well, you know what? I'm going to go over here. I don't want to be bothered right now or be associated with you right now, so I'm, I'm going to just go over here, but... Yeah, it's like when people act like that, I'm like, man, I'm like, can can I please just not have to see that or be involved? Like, can you can you take that over there and things like it, it's just to me, look, I because I when people and they like, you know, there's been times people have like talked with me about their problems and they're so angry and they're so upset. I'm like, fam, do you not understand that there's far more worse things to be dealing with? You know that there's people that's like dealing with the death right now there's somebody that's homeless right now there's somebody addicted to drugs right now there's somebody that's uh what are some other things they're a hoarder or they're on that tv show my 600 pound life or they're building up to being on that show um they just lost a job they just dropped out of school they're just there's so many different things that's going on in this world that's affecting people like day to day you know and i just me personally that's why i'm like when i look at my situations or the problems i do it like i have to say probably the main problem that i'm the you know currently facing right now is content creating you know like that that's my main problem that's why i feel like you know the source to any anger that's displayed to any other stuff it's with content creating am i mad about being a content creator no am i mad about where i'm currently at with content creating yes because i i my thing is this i know i can be in a much more better situation but 
I know that at the end of the day, I need to just keep grinding, keep working, and, you know, yeah, put in more work, and I'll be a better um, content creator. But I can't be that person where I'm like, oh, because my my latest video didn't get enough views so therefore i gotta be mad at everybody or i didn't get um enough people in my twitch stream so i gotta be mad at everybody or i ain't get enough likes on a tiktok video or i ain't get enough uh listeners on a podcast episode that stuff at the end of the day i put myself in i put myself in that situation so therefore i have to deal with it you know so i'm like if i'm just not in the mood to talk or you know entertain nobody or be funny or this that you know just overall like being associated with people i just my thing is this people reach out to me and i'm dealing with some stuff i don't respond or i just be like hey yo i just don't really feel like talking on it right now because it's just you know but most of the time like if i am dealing with some stuff i i do talk about it but if i had to say if it was really getting to me then yeah i'm like okay i i really don't want to uh talk about you know it right now so yeah and i just leave it at that but it's you know it's people it's like my thing is this if you seek out advice from a person and they're trying to you know overall make you happy or like tell you like hey yo look like you you just you because at the end of the day that's gonna like cure any anger or frustration or stress it's like you have to be happy if you don't feel it it's like okay fake it or you know just work on it until you get to that point it's going to be a process but that's everything's for an example, this podcast episode, I'm setting it for a certain time. It's going to be a process to get to that time. I can't just skip straight to 15 minutes of my podcast. No, I got to, you know, come out. I got to come up with content, stuff to talk about within that 15 minutes so it can last until 15 minutes. But yeah, it's like, I, I just don't, I don't get why it's like, you know, when you, you try to like talk to a person and tell them things like, that's one thing I'm like, hey, yo, if you ain't listening to what I'm trying to tell you, then I'm like, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm like, I can't help you. And I'm honestly, I'm going to just start being on that energy where it's like, if I'm trying to help you and then you, you come to me for help and I'm trying to help, and then you're just not accepting it, and you're finding every reason to still be mad, I'm about to just flat out just start telling people, I'm like, hey, yo, look, I can't help you. I'm like, I tried, it ain't went nowhere, so I'm like, at the end of the day, whatever advice i previously given you, take that. But I'm like, you ain't gonna put me in bad spirits and stuff because you in bad spirits. I'm like, I'm sorry that you dealing with that, but I'm like, me, I just try to be a positive person. And it's crazy, you know, like, talking on that, like, you know, with the, the hate and, the, you know, beefing and things. I remember people would say, like, you can't always be positive. You can't, you know, be um, a positive person 24-7 or every day. You're gonna have to accept or be negative at some points in times. No, you don't. Like... People that live like that, well, my thing is, is this, if you live like that, where you want to be negative, where you want to be unhappy and all of that stuff, you ain't going to amount to anything, flat out, 100%. You are not going to amount to nothing. Now, that might be some harsh words. You know, people might take offense to that, but it's the truth. When has there ever been a person that's been rich, that owns millions of cars, that owns fat houses? Freaking, do you think that soccer player Ronaldo, that owns a whole island, do you think he's mad right now? And did he just get some fat contract with the team that he signed to? Do you think he's mad? Do you think LeBron James is mad when he's making billions of dollars uh, from his shoes? When he has a multi-million dollar contract with the NBA, do you think... Uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, do you think he's mad? And he's one of the most well-known, um, most paid actors of our time. I'm saying, like, I feel like that, and it's like, okay, if they are, I feel like if they are mad, it's not even anger. It's just straight up, like, motivation. If they're at a point in time where it's like, okay, like, I'm not where I want to be at, that's just motivation. That's, that's not like, you know, oh, I'm, now I gotta like take my anger out on everybody and things like, no, they're not living like that. Now, I know I'm not Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I know I'm not Ronaldo. I know I'm not LeBron James, but my thing is this, I am me. So I'm like, I gotta make the best of my life. I gotta like set, my thing is this, I feel like I'm here to set an example. I feel like I am here to motivate people. So if I'm, you know, capable of doing that, I'm gonna do that. I'm not, I feel like, the, what, how can you motivate people by being negative? How can you motivate people by being angry? 
It's like that that's not gonna motivate anybody. That's just gonna have a, a world full of angry people for no reason. There's gonna be people in this world that will see my anger and then they look and they're like, oh well now I gotta be angry. They don't even know why they're angry. I have my thing is this I can start up a whole persona, right? I can start up a whole persona get hundreds of thousands of views or just followers or whatever there would be at least like every what two to five people that will not even know they won't even know why they're angry so that's why i'm like to to display that to be that person i it, it just it couldn't be me so that's my advice to everybody out there if you got anger in your heart if you got stress in your heart if you got frustration in your heart you you know whatever it's like i can understand if you got like some you know mental like you know issues going on where it's like okay you might be bipolar you might be dealing with depression i can accept that i can understand that but if you just out here mad and you choosing to be mad like nah you 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 gonna have to you gonna have to get that you know fix i know with the mental issues it's gonna take some time but that anger where it can easily be fixed you you yeah you you gotta go get that fixed because i I personally don't want to be bothered, you know, with stuff like that. So, but anyways, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. If you're viewing this on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're viewing this on the podcast streaming service, make sure you follow or subscribe, however it's set up. Also, make sure you subscribe to one of my 35 YouTube channels. Follow me on Twitter, TikTok, Twitch, and Instagram at TMOSBoss. And make sure you follow my Facebook page at TMOSBoss Fan Page. Also, if you're purchasing any tickets from SeatGeek, make sure you use my promo code TMOSBoss and it will knock $20 off of your first purchase. Also, I am a part of the whole Epic um, Game Support Creator thing, so make sure you use my code for that too, TMOSBoss. And yeah, in the meantime, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching and for listening, and peace.